artists, it's Ms. Messer, your friendly neighborhood art teacher. Today, I was sitting in my reading corner with Gary, and I was thinking about one of the building blocks of art, lines. Lines are so special and important to making art. Today, even my earrings are lines. And thinking about lines made me think about a book called Harold and the Purple Crayon, in which a little boy uses his purple crayon to draw a whole imagined world. He draws a moon, a tree, a boat, and even a hot air balloon. And guess what he uses to draw all those things? Lines! It's amazing what you can do with lines and how you can use them to create what's in your imagination. So today, I'm going on an adventure to find lines around my house. Then I'm going to use those lines to draw a totally unique artwork. Will you join me? Before we get started looking for lines, let's talk about some different types. Follow along by using your finger to make the lines as I read them. Straight line, hills or wavy line, dotted line, zigzag line, dashed, cloud line, castle line, which looks like the top of a castle, loopy line, mouse ears, swirls, waves, lightning, circle chain, and a shape line. Do you think these are the only lines there are? Or can you imagine other types too? Now that I know lots of different types of lines, I'm going to go on a line walk, looking around my house for these lines and more. Now it's time to make some art. I can't believe all the interesting lines I found just looking around my house. I'm using a yellow piece of paper and a blue marker, but you could use any kind of paper and anything to draw with. Watch as I draw the lines that I discovered, making sure I'm filling my paper and even connecting the lines where I can. I love drawing zigzag lines because I like to think that they go eat er eat er eat er eat er and they make a really silly sound. Oops, I think I made a mistake on this line. It's a little tricky, but that's okay. I'll just go with it. Zoop. Ooh, those earphones, they look really scribbly, so I'm going to do a little scribbling too. And my last line, 
And now I'm ready for my next step. Well, artists, I made a drawing that fills up my whole page and it shows lots of interesting lines that I found on my line walk. But how I finish it is up to me because I'm the artist. Could I paint it, glue on it, add collage paper? Well, sure. I decided to finish my artwork by coloring it in with markers. But you finish yours how you want. I had so much fun looking for lines with you today. I hope you had fun too. I can't wait to make more art with you soon. Have fun, artists.